This is your man, Don Potter to the piece, the real cut above, baby, aka Blessed Hands, the real one, for my friends out there on YouTube. Well, this is a Saturday afternoon, long day over, hard day's work put in, and I'm just sitting here and I figured I'd shoot you guys in line, let y'all know that I appreciate you, and I thank you for continuing to uh, help uh, stuff my numbers on YouTube, uh, I see my videos are being watched steadily, um, I'm networking constantly on Tag, MySpace, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, just any place I can. Also, I have my own uh, my own space at uh, the real cut above spot dot mean dot com. Uh, these are places you can go and check out uh, more of my work. Uh, also, you can uh, network on the real cut above spot dot mean dot com. Uh, there you will find uh, a variety of. Uh, people and a variety of, of, of new things to do, uh, some services that you may need, uh, some services you may be looking for, uh, have a different uh, different vibe going on there and I'm trying to build that up, um, but uh, today's uh, focus is on uh, continuing to strive for excellence in uh, everything that you do. Uh, what I do is I cut hair and I strive for excellence in that on a regular basis. Now, for all my fellow barbers, AKA cutters, around the world, around this nation, uh, from the East Coast, West Coast, North to the South, uh, barbershop game is one of perseverance. Uh, only the strong survive. You have to be a people person, and you also have to know how to cut. But don't let this be the first rule of the game, because I know there are some barbers out here that lack the skills, but have the personality. So, uh, a lot that goes on has to do with having a, a great balance and act going on. Um, what I want to say to some of you who are just out here filling chairs and getting disappointed and discouraged, uh, you're somewhere where you feel like you're not cutting enough hair or uh, the customers aren't uh, relating to you the way you think they should. As one OG to another that may be in a situation that's not appealing to him or her, get out of the game or step your game up. It's just that simple. Don't be discouraged, get encouraged. I personally believe that anybody who takes time to uh, come into a barbershop needs to be treated with respect. Uh, if you're in a place where your, your co-workers aren't trying to encourage you, they're trying to discourage you, then you're in the wrong place. There may be some untapped hatred in your barbershop, your establishment. And uh, if you are in a hate-filled environment, then there's no way that you can uh, prosper financially or socially or mentally. Uh, if you are one that thinks that you aren't making as much as you should, then you need to step your game up also. You need to start uh, getting out and advertising, selling yourself. Don't depend on the barbershop owner to set your standards. Set your own standards. Get out there, network, let people know who you are, show people what you can do. If people don't know you're a barber, you probably won't cut much hair. That's why OGs like myself and OGs in the game like numerous other barbers out here are able to be successful. Um, take for instance, Alex Campbell from the ATL. Uh, he's going to be on uh, America's Got Talent, hopefully. And uh, like he said, a barber with the opportunity to cut for a million dollars. How many of you barbers out there have even seen a million dollars? I know I have. I may have not seen it in one lump, but I, like McDonald's, have over a million served and have made 
just as much. Now, if you want to be successful, you determine your own success as a barber. Don't wait for someone else to determine your success. You are in control of your own success. You are in control of your own destiny. Stand up. Barack Obama is in office and what he said was, he's, he's not the change. He is a part of the change. We are all a part of the change. So why not? Step your game up. Let's make the change. Let's make some change. Let's stack some change. This is real talk, serious business. If you need anything, I mean anything that pertains to the barbering game, if you need game, if you need pointers on haircuts, if you need to know what you can do to get yourself out there, hit me up on YouTube. Blessed Hands, the real one. B-L-E-S-S-E-D-H-A-N-D-Z. D-A-R-E-A-L. Number one. Blessed Hands, the real one. And I'll help you out. I'll do whatever I can to give you uh, whatever type of advice that you may need from somebody that's been in the game for over 25 years been self-employed as his own own owner, own boss for 18 years. There are things that I know that I know I can help you with. And I'm, I'm, I'm a player in the game. And I want to see all the players in the game be successful. You're not taking no money from me. There's too many heads out here. Too much hair to be cut. So let's not be stingy. Let's not be haters. Let's be players. This is real talk for your man, blessed hands, the real one. I hope through whatever I've said, something has been heard for somebody out there to be a better barber, a better person. So, to the next time, this conversations with a player, blessed hands, the real one, signing off. Hit me up and uh, friend me up, and I'll get back with you looking for more friends. To the end, 100.